That's the exact location of your emergency. <laughs> Paramedics nicknamed them frequent flyers. Please help me. Or their most loyal customers. Yes, I need an ambulance. Chronically ill patients who repeatedly call for help. Like I need to be in the hospital. Many are substance abusers or mentally ill. Others use first responders as taxis to the hospital on a cold night. By most accounts, Waylon Mark Whitney is this state's top customer. Mark obsessively stabs himself in the stomach with meat skewers or attempts other kinds of self-mutilation. Then after surgeons fix him up, he does it all over again. They try to put him back together again as best they can. And they've kind of pretty much gotten to the point, though, that they don't know what to do for him anymore. Todd Whitney estimates his brother Mark was in the hospital six months of last year at a price tag topping $1 million and rising. It's gotten to the point that he would uh, call like every other week, go back to the hospital again. It just was over and over and over again. Oh, God, I hate this. Waylon Mark Whitney has called 911 so often, most operators don't even have to ask his name. They just know his voice. You like to hurt yourself? I like to open up my belly. So you've done this before? Yeah. A lot, or? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they know it, and it's just, it's just a stupid fetish, and just, you know, I just, I just need help with it. I just, yeah, I think you do, because you could really hurt yourself bad. Huh? <laughs> I'm cutting my guts open, yeah. Fox 31 Denver asked the Colorado Springs 911 Center to print out how many separate contacts police, fire, or paramedics have had with Mr. Whitney. I'm getting panicky. 85 calls just last year. His name shows up 204 times in the past three. Were you trying to kill yourself? Sometimes the code red call is urgent, like when he cuts himself. I love to stab myself in the belly. Other cases are listed as petty crimes, like disturbing the peace at an apartment complex. He's running through our hallways, bleeding all over. And we still love him, and we still care about him, but we don't know what to do for him. Mark's sister Deborah says the family has begged for help, prayed for help, but state and local health services have so far failed. He's going to commit suicide. He's going to self mutilate and he's going to die. And if he doesn't die from the mutilation, he's going to die from exposure to the cold as a homeless person. Of the approximately 500,000 Colorado Medicaid patients screened so far, only one half of 1% are labeled super utilizers, 3,004 people statewide. The tiny group disproportionately cost taxpayers $76 million last year alone. We sort of think of the super utilizers as a population that have very fragmented care. Judy Zerzin is chief medical officer at the Department of Health Care Policy. She cannot comment on Mark Whitney's case. There are privacy issues which prevent it. Zerzin says Colorado has recently launched two initiatives plus a pilot program to stop super utilizers from falling through the cracks and costing taxpayers 30 times more money than the average Medicaid patient. We feel pretty confident that our model is a good one and that this is both saving, lowering costs, but also improving people's health. And that's really our ultimate goal. The key to success is pairing super utilizers with medical case managers. It turns out orchestrating transportation to the doctor's office, setting appointments to see psychiatrists, and honing in on the correct medications are much cheaper alternatives to hospital room visits. By addressing that and, and getting them better care, that sort of helped them uh, in using care more appropriately in the right place, the right time, the right setting. Sounds good, but you can understand why Mr. Whitney's family is reluctant to believe the state is coming to the rescue. We were trying to get him to the state hospital. He really needs to be locked down so he can't drink and so he can't stab himself. And then he needs the mental health part of it too, you know. We've been trying to do that for a long time now.